Hey there, viewers. I'm actually making this part of the video after I've uh, you know, finished th the other parts of the video that you're going to watch. And I'm doing it because after I got to thinking about it, I thought that some explanation was necessarily was necessary and would be beneficial. And uh, you'll have to forgive me, I'm out in the freezing cold. It's about 25 degrees right now. And I'm not only cold, but a little bit irritated. So, you know, what I'm about to tell you, I hope makes sense. And I know it's probably a little bit hard to understand if you've never seen or worked on one of these. But it's important to know and to understand. These 2.3 and 2.5 liter engines have keyless crankshafts, which means that uh, it's possible for all external indications that the timing is correct uh, for your crankshaft to be out of position relative to top dead center. I think that's correct. I think I stated that correctly. So you can have uh, your camshafts aligned and you can have the signal generated by the timing wheel on the crankshaft pulley telling the computer that everything is in alignment but your crankshaft can be out of alignment and uh, off from top dead center. The, the way that you set the timing on these is you use two tools. You use a timing or you use a, a camshaft alignment plate which goes in to slots at the end of each camshaft and also rests right across the top of the head and then you use a crankshaft alignment bolt which is a bolt of a very specific length that screws into the side of the block right at the uh, number one cylinder crankshaft uh, weight. So when you put the bolt through the block it's right in line with the counterweight on the crankshaft for the uh, number one cylinder. That uh, weight on the crankshaft has a flat spot. I believe it actually has two flat spots, one on each side. But as you rotate the crankshaft, the flat spot on the weight will eventually come in contact with the bolt at top dead center and that's how you know that your crankshaft is properly timed. So you've got the crankshaft weight up against the bolt at top dead center. You've got your, I'm sorry. Yeah, you've got the crankshaft weight up against the bolt at top dead center. You've got the plate in the end of the cams resting against the head, which indicates that they're properly timed. So when you have those two things together, you then take your crankshaft pulley and you align the ninth tooth of the pulley with the center of the crankshaft position sensor and you bolt everything down. And then of course you hope that nothing moved uh, you know after you have everything cranked down and the reason that you hope that is because when you're tightening everything down you take your alignment tools out because if you put all of that uh, torque on the crankshaft pulley bolt with your alignment tools and with your timing tools in there you can a possibly crack your block and b possibly break the uh, ends of your camshafts off so you have to be really careful about how you do it and I, I guess it's not hard to do you just have to be careful and uh, you just have to hope that you know nothing moves especially during that final step and I think what I'm learning here about this is that it's possible again I think I, I said this earlier for your crankshaft to be out of position even though all external indications are that the timing is good. Um, a few days ago I took the valve cover off and I took the cam alignment plate and I put it in the end of the camshafts and then I uh, looked at the crankshaft pulley and verified that the ninth tooth of the pulley or of the timing wheel on the pulley was perfectly aligned with the crankshaft position sensor and it was 
But what I didn't do is uh, remove the passenger side drive axle and put the crankshaft timing bolt through the side of the block. And I guess that's one of the things that makes verifying timing not that convenient because it's kind of a pain to get that axle out. So I didn't do it. But I did do what I thought was a, a decent verification of the timing at the time. And I was even more confident because if you look at scan data, it shows that the timing is perfect. And uh, that's, that's tricky stuff right there. You know, everything's telling you that the timing is good, <clears throat> and you check everything but the position of the crankshaft, uh, and, uh, you know, you're, you can be fooled into thinking that everything is right. Now, I've read that 9 out of 10 times, the problems related to these swaps or any kind of uh, work done on these engines is, uh, is uh, related to timing issues or problems that, you know, people have run into as they try to time these things. And, you know, I can see now that I've done it, you know, having set the timing, you can see that while it looks easy, it certainly can be a uh, high likelihood problem uh, down the line after you get everything together and fire it up. So, I hope I've explained that and I hope it sort of sh shows the gravity of what these keyless crankshafts actually mean and you know what a what a just a despicable design they are um, so you know let's go ahead and uh, I'll get set up and we'll look at the timing and uh, you know we'll, we'll see what happens and we'll see what we find on this 2.5 hey guys I am doing a triple check of the timing because, as you may or may not know, on these crazy engines, it's possible for the crankshaft to be out of position even though the camshafts are aligned using the alignment plate. So, what I want to do right now is use a, uh, I guess it's an old-fashioned method, if you will, uh, and sort of a shortcut as well to putting the timing peg um, in the side of the block to make sure that the crankshaft is in the proper position. So I'm just going to use a rod down in the cylinder and find top dead center that way. So I'm going to take you along and uh, you know you can sort of look over my shoulder while I do it and then that way if I'm doing something wrong you know somebody can tell me. But uh, here's what I have. So I've got the uh, number one spark plug taken out and I've got a rod uh, down in the cylinder and I put a piece of tape on the top the you know as a visual aid to help make it easier to see TDC so you know I've got that and then of course um, after we find TDC we'll come over here and look for the timing mark uh, relative to the uh, crankshaft position center uh, sensor all right so I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on the tripod and then we'll watch the uh, rod for TDC and then we'll uh, I'll take the camera off the tripod and we'll look at the uh, crankshaft pulley and see where it is. Okay, so I've got you focused in on the uh, flag here and I'm going to go ahead and take the crankshaft around another uh, revolution and then we'll get that flag at top dead center or get the rod at top dead center and then I will take another look at the uh, markings on the crankshaft so here we go going down so I'm going to take this out until I start to come back up Looks like we're coming back up here. Alright, so here's the flag coming back up. Or here's the rod coming back up. I'll stand it up to make it easier to see. 
And now we'll see if we can find TDC. All right, so that looks like it's... Okay, I think that's the top. Yep, and now it's starting to come down. So I'm going to back up just a hair. So there you can see it's starting to go down. Now I'm going to come back. And you can see that it's up at the top. Starting to come down. So I'm really going to be extra careful here. And coming back up. All right, so that is top dead center. Now I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and uh, the moment of truth will be looking at the uh, markings on the crankshaft pulley. Alright, let's look at this crank pulley. Well, as you can see the ninth tooth, uh, which is painted white, is nowhere near, well, it's within, let's see, one, two, I think it's three teeth away from the center of the crankshaft position center sensor. So even though the uh, cams are aligned, the crankshaft is not properly aligned well no the crankshaft may the crankshaft is definitely a TDC but the pulley with the ninth tooth is not in line with the center of the crankshaft position sensor which means that the timing is off and that is a problem that is definitely a problem Got to fix this. Well, unless I'm doing something wrong, uh, it looks to me like the timing is off. And it must have happened uh, right after I started it up for the very first time. Um, so I can't think of any, really anything else that could have gone wrong. So. Looks like I'm going to have to think about this and look over the video to make sure that I didn't do anything wrong and then uh, figure out what the next best step is. But uh, thanks for uh, looking over my shoulder. If you see anything that I've done wrong, let me know. Thanks for watching.